Today I'm going to show you how I make barbecue chicken in my Instant Pot. Hi, I'm Aliyah Millam, the founder of the food blog Premeditated Leftovers and the author of the cookbook Prep Ahead Meals from Scratch. Barbecue chicken is one of my favorite foods, but I don't always want to spend time outside heating the grill and cooking it out there. And so when I want barbecue chicken in a hurry, I make it in my Instant Pot. So what I do to make this is I first, I leave the rack inside here. So I'm gonna leave that in there. And I put three quarters of a cup of water in the bottom. We need a certain amount of moisture in there to make this work. Then what I do is I start putting my chicken in and, um, and I pour barbecue sauce over it. I'm gonna put that in there on the rack. And once I have one layer, there we go, we have one layer. Um, I put in barbecue sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. I think I usually use about three quarters of a cup to a cup. So we'll just see how far I exceed this. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit over the top. And then I'm gonna add some more chicken. I have about three pounds of chicken and I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They're super tender, super easy to cook. They never turn out bad, um, but you can use whatever type of chicken you like. Okay, then I'm gonna pour the rest of it over the top of this chicken. And just make sure it's mostly coated. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on and then I move this to sealed, sealing, where it says minting and sealing. We wanna make sure it's sealing. And then um, everybody's Instant Pot is a little bit different, but we want it on high pressure for 15 minutes. Now I can push the poultry button and it will automatically go to 15 minutes. You might have to push a few buttons. Just make sure it's on high pressure and that it's set to go. Okay, it's beeping, it is starting to go. Now remember, this doesn't cook in exactly 15 minutes because what it's gonna do is it has to get to high pressure and then it starts timing the 15 minutes once it's at high pressure. I'll be back as soon as it's um, done and I'll show you the quick release method. The timer just went off, it's cooked for 15 minutes. Use a pot holder and then you switch it from sealing to venting. And then we're gonna let the steam out. It's gonna take about a minute, but um, once it's done, we are ready to go with our barbecue chicken. All right, all of the steam has come out, so I can go ahead and lift the lid. Now there is gonna be hot steam in the lid, so I just put that to the side. And I am careful to use my pot holder while I'm doing it so I don't get burned. Okay, I don't know if you can see in there, but we have barbecue chicken, and we can go ahead and just Serve that, put that on the table. My family will eat barbecue chicken just like this. But what I actually want to do is to make um, shredded barbecue chicken to make sandwiches. So what I'm gonna do is instead of serving it like this, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a bowl and I'm gonna shred the chicken. So let's go ahead and do that. I use chicken thighs. They are super tender. We're going to be able to shred this chicken with a fork, but I'm also going to show you the method where I use um, a mixer, just because um, if you've used chicken th uh, breasts instead of thighs, they are going to be just a, not quite as easy to shred. Okay, so look at this. So we can just shred with our fork, just pull it apart, and it will just come very quickly. And as we do it, this flavor is going to get throughout the barbecue. Now what I do is I completely shred it. And then after I shred it, I add more barbecue sauce back in. Now I don't shred it inside the Instant Pot with all the juices that are in there because it, there, remember we diluted it with three quarters of a cup of water. So we don't wanna go ahead and mix water um, or the fat that was released from the chicken back into the chicken. We just want the to mix the barbecue sauce in because it's the most flavorful part, right? Okay, so I'm gonna use my mixer. And it's a little bit messy, but it's fast. Now I have this on low. Um, 
but I can speed it up. And it will really quickly shred that chicken. Okay, so as you can see, this is pretty much shredded. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce. So now I'm just going to mix barbecue sauce back in until I think it's the right flavor and the right texture and the right amount of liquid. This is two thirds of a cup right here. So I'm gonna fill that up and I'm gonna put that in. Originally I had about three cups of chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and just live on the wild side and put it all in. I think that's gonna be about right. I have some more barbecue sauce and our barbecue chicken is ready to be served. I'm gonna go get some burger buns and we'll serve it up right now. All right, I have my barbecue chicken and I'm ready to load up some burger buns with these. There we go, we add that, add some barbecue sauce or you can put it on the table and let people add it themselves. I know my family loves this barbecue sauce so I feel comfortable adding it for them. And there you go, we are ready for dinner. So I've loaded up some shredded chicken barbecue sandwiches for my family, and we're about to sit down and eat. I have a lot of hungry guys around here. To get the printable recipe, click the link below. And if you aren't already, follow me. That way you won't miss any of my recipe videos.